I came out to do an inspection of the garden this morning. Um, and part of the reason for this is that once everything gets to be, you know, this size, a lot of problems start springing up. Uh, you gotta be on the lookout for disease. You've gotta be on the lookout for, you know, the little suckers that we've talked about. Um, just because it helps the plant grow a little bit better. Um, and one of the things we also need to be on the lookout for are hornworms. Now, I already found one this week and I'm not sure if my camera is going to pick up on this or not. He's little. So look right there. He's actually on the tomato cage and I could not get him to get into focus when I tried before. But these little guys, the little assholes that they are, will, uh, yeah, he's so sm There you go. You can kind of see him now. They turn green as they get bigger. And this one is actually sitting on the cage and not on my plant. But this is the second one that I've found. And the fact that I have found them when they're this little is, um, is a big deal. And, you know, it's, it's actually a really big deal that I found him because, uh, when they're this little, they will eat and eat and eat and uh, they get big and they do damage quickly. Um, I'm gonna see if I can remove him and uh, with like a leaf and I'll, I'll flip the camera on him and see if we can get a better angle. Okay. Now you can kind of see him. This guy's little, see my finger? When you find them, they're normally like this. They're they're big green caterpillars. This one is teeny, teeny, tiny. So this is that point in your garden where they're in here and you just can't find them. Um, and so, you know, you gotta be, oh, you know what? I think I just found another one. Let's see, right there. See him? Right in here. So yeah, these guys have to go where they will do a lot of damage. A lot. Um, at some point in the summer, I will probably be able to find a bigger one to show everybody. But yeah, they're, they're nasty little creatures because they will, they will devour half your crop before you even know it so um anyway i just wanted to show you guys what that looks like so that you know what to be on the lookout for um and then you know here in south carolina north carolina they're definitely out so. these little suckers are still in here look at that one on my tomato so that brings our count to four. And I'm still on the lookout. And if you want to know how I handle these guys, <laughs> Since I'm um, spending part of the day today talking about pests in the garden, I thought I would talk about another one that I just learned about. And I'm not sure how well you can see them. See those guys right there? These are a flat-footed, um, God, what did they call them? Nymph or something. And they turn into the nasty little bugs that uh, chew on my squash plants generally. Now, this is of course in my cucumbers and they kind of look like a red ant with, you know, spikes on them. If you see that guy that was just crawling. Um, and so what I've been doing is, uh, 
I'm using duct tape to kind of grab them and squash them. Um, this is the kind of bug that this is uh, Game of Thrones style because these can do a lot of damage and you see there's a lot of them in there. So uh, yeah, I'm headed in to get rid of these but I also wanted you guys to be aware of what these were in case you see them. They are not a good bug. Um, in fact, look at that one's a big one. See him? Of course he looks bigger on the camera than he actually is. He's really not that big. But Oh, and there's a bee right behind him going in that flower. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Bee. The bee is a good bug. We want him. <laughs> so, uh, alright, I'm going to uh, jump out of here and uh, take care of these pests as well. This is another new pest I've recently learned about. He looks like a ladybug, except he's about twice the size and he's yellow. And I think he's called a ladybird, um, which I think is exactly what the ladybugs are called. He has a more specific name. If I can look it up, I'll, again, I'll let you know, but um, he is not so good. He, while most ladybugs are great for gardens, they eat pests. This one eats your leaves and uh, he's not a good one. So he's one more example of what gets to go. Um, and the reason I ended up here is because those nymphs, when they get older, they turn into these like, um, Oh, they're like a brown, they almost look like a stink bug. And so I found several in my squash patch and I was hoping to find one to show you. Um, I've killed three so far and I haven't, just looking in here, I don't see another one. I just happened to see that other pest. So um, yeah, if I, if I catch a picture of that one, um, I'll add it to the video or, um, you know, I'll link to it or something like that. But I, I wanted you guys to be aware that that is yet another pest to be on the lookout for in your, in your squash.